Welcome to quarterfinal number two now. It is finals day in South Africa. The first QS 10,000 of the year unfolding. The Belita Pro presented by O'Neill. Tease up your second quarterfinal of the morning. Jorgen Cousinet, the Frenchman. Take on former championship tour surfer Ian Gouveia. As we greet you with another sour borna. Good morning. We'll look at Cousinet there. And further down, Ian Gouveia. The former championship tour surfer looking now to find points on the qualifying series. We'll make a little rare error there. Always tough in a second language. There's subtleties that you can miss, you know, by in the uh, translation. Oh, absolutely. We do feel for these guys. And upon reflecting yesterday, we should have given them a chance to speak in Portuguese. We're going to do that today to speak to the local people in Brazil watching and cheering. Here we go. This is the six foot one of Jorgen Cousinet, the Frenchman. That looks better. That's better from him. Projecting. We saw him do this on Friday to get results in the lineup. Belito lineup. Let's pick up with Jordan Cousineau's first one. See, so just bides his time and waits for this thing to stand up. Comes around the section. Lovely committed open face carve. Doesn't wash off too much speed. And then sets up this one and squares it. Perfect timing on that one under the lip. Shows the judges he's riding out of that one. Two turns. He has the second wave of the set. This one might draw a little cleaner. Gouveia rockets oh. up that one. And somehow... Oh. Oh my gosh, just a little error, but then reloaded that second turn. Just a fraction off timing, a touch in favour of Jorgen Cousinet, and just a touch not in favour of Gouveia in that exchange. One behind, a little bit cleaner. Ian Gouveia able to go upside down, as we'd expect from him. Lovely little hit there, turn that into a backside float. Air drops, just engages that rail, goes straight to the bottom turn. But what that does, it just threw off his timing, just that fraction. If I look at Ian Gouveia, Al Hunt has told us that Gouveia came here 31st, can jump up to 9th. Here we go with Cousinet switching the focus into the left-hander. It's pretty windy and blustery, but there's still enough tide to allow this left bowl to run into that wind. Last year, 16th on the qualifying series. We'll talk more about his stats. Let's have a look at that 3-2-7 again, because that's a pretty low score, actually. Well, it all came from that first turn. Like, I mean, it wasn't too bad there. Nice vertical hit, does well to stick with it. That's a little cut back to the power source of really just functional manoeuvres. Nothing at all innovative about that one. Well, I put the question mark to his surfing yesterday. He wasn't finishing a lot of rides. We'll come back to that discussion because Ian Gervais is taking his forehand for a quick in and out as we continue that point. He, was, he wasn't finishing a bunch of his rides other than that big eight-point ride yesterday. On a backup at this stage, as a, he has a quick look at a right. So the boy's just struggling to find and work the line-up out as it continues to change here with this tide-drawing water. Always kind of doing their own thing out there. Well, you would imagine that uh, some of the Brazilian crew will be working with Ian Gouveia here as he's going to really spend an opportunity there as that little wave ran away on the sandbar we were talking about. So now, advantage Cousinet again, the Frenchman. Got to look. I'll come back to that because it's in and out as Ian Gouveia continues to interrupt my train of thought. What they would have done, Geeks, they've gone, okay, that one of Jorgen's, we've got to compare that with the 4-3-3 three, three of Ian's. Completely different rides. Ian's, of course, on his backhand or right-hander. Jorgen's also a backhander, but going right, oh, sorry, left. You're in the greater area. Take a drive down. See if you can find a parking, because the beaches will be getting more packed. Here goes Cousinet trying to drop the 3-2-7. Lovely uh, rip right there and swung the shoulder. There's replays up again here. Nice little clean face for this one. A little lateral, if we can be critical of the first turn. Hits it nicely, but you can see his eyes are squarely down the end. He doesn't want to wash off any speed because he wants to finish this one off. A lovely little slashing drop while it just dropping that back knee with all the weight over the back of that one. Almost looked like a small one behind him, Ian Gouveia, with little speed, just squares this one up nice and 12 o'clock. Flows straight to this next one. Again, 12 o'clock's that one. It's a little softer on the end section. He had to almost manufacture his speed. Well, Cousinet has been the one doing all the pulling here because he has been in charge of this quarterfinal number two pretty much from the start and as he holds the priority the acceptance is real that Ian Gouveia is going to finish fifth a very good result for Ian Gouveia his best here in Belito and he will bow out of the draw for the 5600 points and a fifth place finish Jorgen Cousinet